Hey, what's up, GRE lovers? So today we are going to look into this bell curve, this normal distribution curve. So it says over here, the figure above shows the standard normal distribution with the mean zero. Okay, it's really nice that they have drawn it for us. Has a mean zero and a standard deviation of one. Okay, one, two, negative one, negative two. Okay, so far so good. Including approximate percent of the distribution corresponding to the six regions shown above. Okay, 34, 34, 14, 14, 2, 2. Okay, cool, cool. The random variable x is normally distributed with standard deviation of 10. Now, wait a minute. Ah, so this text over here explaining this figure over here, but this question is separate from this. Oh, that's interesting. So probably this image was cropped by some textbooks, I believe. Anyway, the random variable x is normally distributed with a standard deviation of 10 and a value of x, 135, is at the 20th percentile of the distribution. Of the following, which is the best estimate of the mean of the distribution? Okay, so the question is entrusted in an estimate value, not an exact value. Okay, so the first thing that we probably need to do is kind of like draw a bell curve over here. Let's draw it out even though it's ugly, but you guys get the idea, right? Okay, let's try it out. So I got 34 over here, 34 over here. Then we have uh, 14 over here and 14 over here. And then at the very end, two over here and two over here. Okay, so far so good. So what do I need to know more? So I do know that my mean is somewhere over here, right? Which is basically the 50th percentile, right? So, and I also know that from here to here, I have my two percentile. And from here all the way to here, if I just draw it a little bit down over here. So 14 plus two is 16, okay? So this line is one standard deviation below the mean. And this is at the 16th percentile, right? I can even write it over here, 16th percentile. And all the way from here to here in the center, like I've already written it, but let's just write it again. This is the 50th percentile, which is basically equal to the mean. And I can keep on going. Let's draw it down all the way down here. And from here all the way to here, even though the lines are a bit ugly, but you guys get the idea, right? So I just need to add this 34 to this 50, right? What's that going to be? Uh, 84. That's going to be the 84th percentile over here, right? And the last, all the way from here to here, I just need to add this 14 into this 84. I'm going to get 98th percentile, right? right over here and I think I probably need to use a different color here because it's getting a too much orangish over here how about green yeah okay so the standard deviation let's use this symbol for standard deviation okay the standard deviation is 10 what does this basically mean so distance from here to here is basically 10 when I'm basically considering the values okay and similarly this distance is 10, this distance is 10, this distance is 10, and all the distances basically between the lines is basically 10, okay? The standard deviation is 10, and the value x is equal to 135 is at the 20th percentile. So the 20th percentile is basically going to be a little more right to the 16th percentile line, right? So it's going to be somewhere over here, okay? Somewhere over here. So why don't I basically draw it to the side so that it is much more, you know, visual and easy to understand. So let's draw only half of it this time, okay? So I'm interested in this, uh, you know, x value. So how about, yeah, so 34 and 14 and 2. So over here, it is the 16th percentile. Over right on the center, it is 50th percentile. And over here, it is the second percentile. Okay? 
So this is 16, and I don't know what value this is, to be very honest. But I do know that somewhere to the right of this line, there is a value x, which is basically 135, right? And the question is basically interested in what is going to be the estimate mean. So let's think about this. If this is the 20th, let's just for the sake of an argument, let's draw it over here. This is the 20th, okay? This is the 20th percentile. Let's write it over here, okay? And if I basically add one standard deviation, a 10 into it, I'm going to get 145, okay? But the problem is that 145 is going to be way to the right of the mean. Because let's think about it. If, just for the sake of an argument, if 135 was not at 20th, it was at the 16th percentile, and if I would have added the value of 10, then 145 would have been the exact mean, right? Exact mean, right at the center. But the question is not given us this 135 value at the 16th percentile. What it has given is a value which is a little to the right of 16, okay? So let's think about this. Okay, let's scroll down a little bit, okay? Let's make it even more understandable. This is A, this is B. This is the 50th percentile. This is the 16th percentile, okay? And the distance, the gap between them is 10. So if the value and 20th percentile is somewhere over here, a little right to the 16th, and it is 135. If I add a 10 value to 135, I'm going to get 145. But the problem is that this 145 is bigger than the mean because mean is at the B, right? So if I'm basically using my estimation, I know for a fact that mean is going to be less than 145. That's all I know. And since the question is interested in estimation, which value among the answer choices is less than 145? Answer choice A. Boom.